All right, Shalom. Shalom. Just want to give all praises, glory, and honor due unto Yahweh Hashem Yoshai, Bahashem Rakaha Chadash, and the blindest of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and that do teach well and have taught me this truth. To you I say Shalom and Shalom to the hopeful elect. Kwam Yashal and Abba Babal. All right, so uh, I just want to um, uh, make a lesson off of this video here by uh, GMS Awakening 144, and this is uh, Elder Amawang Gabar's uh, video. And I'll post a link in the description during post-production for anybody that wants to watch the video. Uh, the title of the video says, You're reading and she's teaching. Sims ain't gonna make it. Book of Eli versus the road. <laughs> and he pretty much cuts uh, this couple here. This couple that is in the faith because uh, what they're doing is not in order. Here it is. You have a man's wife teaching over over him <laughs> it's not supposed to be done you're reading for her and she's breaking everything down and bring out the scriptures um, the scripture says uh let your woman keep keep in silence while being in the church and that's found in first uh, corinthians uh, the 14th chapter and the, th the 33rd verse on down so this wasn't done uh decently and in order so uh he cuts that and he brings out all the precepts on what they should be doing um, so anyways, I'm gonna bring out some scriptures now now really, you know, if, if you're a married couple in, in the faith um, You should be following the example of Aquila and Priscilla when they took Apollos under their wing and when they taught him but they taught They taught him they taught him behind closed doors. They taught him um, In a private setting and that's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to uh, have your woman teach a man in public and if 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 another man is with your woman you're supposed to be present and you're supposed to be chaperoning and telling her what to do and, and that was the case of Aquila and Priscilla okay so so they they actually invested in in a, in a man that was in the faith and they they saw that that man had potential they're like you know what let's teach this guy let's take him under our wing let this let's let this guy live with us so we can uh, 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 teach him um, a little teach him more right but they didn't they didn't teach him in public you understand not supposed to do that so so you're supposed to follow the example of Aquila and Priscilla that's found in Acts the 18th chapter and the 24th verse on down that's what you're supposed to which I'm going to read that by the way but before I do that, let me uh, get into this. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. For the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, starting with the Father, He is the author of the Holy Bible. And Yahweh Shai, uh, he, he, comes in the whole, he comes in the volume of the whole book. Right? He's the whole volume of the book, Yahweh Shai. Right? Scripture says that. Roughly paraphrasing. So when you read this book, it doesn't bring confusion, and and it shouldn't be confusing. It's only confusing to those that are out of order. So the Lord, man, um, he he doesn't like chaos. He likes things done in order. Uh, so anyway, it says here, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints, let your woman keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience. As also saith the law. That's right. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, she's not supposed to be talking. She's supposed to be silent. Keep your mouth shut. Because the men are supposed to be doing all the talking. Now it says here, verse 35. And if they will learn anything. That's right. And if they will learn anything. And the reason the reason why it is written that way is because women, they, they, they naturally uh, lack faith. They don't, they don't, they don't have, they're not as faithful as men, especially when it comes to serving the Lord. And go into the example of um, Sarah, I'll use, I'll use Sarah, Abraham's wife, right? Now, when the Lord told her she was going to have a baby at the age of 90 years old, she laughed at that, right? So she, she lacked faith. And there's many other examples in the scriptures where, where it shows women lack faith. Man, look at Eve. Eve lacked faith. Oh, 
that's that's a number one example eve lack faith all right so um that's why it says here and if they will learn anything let them ask their husbands at home that's right so if she learns anything as if she does she has to ask her husband so that means she's supposed to be taught by her husband for it is a shame for a woman to speak in the church that's right it is a shame for a woman to speak in the church and she's speaking he's doing the reading and she's doing all the talking that's a damn shame and uh, that makes this guy look bad. It's a damn shame. And it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Not good. Verse 36. What? Came the word of the Most High out from you, or came it unto you only? If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Most High. So this, was all, this all came from, from, from Paul here. Right, this all came from Paul. So, so this came from the Lord. Okay, this came from the Lord. And and if you are a prophet, if you think you're if you think you're a prophet, if you think you're spiritual, uh, then then you will take this into consideration about your woman being silent in the church. You take that into consideration, and, and you have a lot of men out here today. They call themselves prophets. They call themselves spiritual. And uh, they're, they're not following what was written here in 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter. They're not following that, <laughs> right? So there's a lot of men who, who are not prophets and who are not spiritual at all because they're not following what comes out of the book. Right? And they're letting their woman uh, 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 come on the camera, go on the highways and do all this madness. Not supposed to be doing that, man. So it says here, that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. That's right. If a nigga can't get it, we're moving on. Right? If, if you're ignorant, if you're stupid, then okay, stay stupid. That's your problem. It's not mine. Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy and forbid not to speak with tongues. Let all things be done decently and in order. That's right. So everything has to be done decently and in order. And this was not done in order. And this isn't decent. This isn't decent. The spirit's not working here. The spirit's dead. That's off. All right, so that covers that. Now let's go into um, Acts, the 18 chapter. Acts 18 and uh, 24. So this is the example that you're supposed to follow. So uh, Acts chapter 18, verse 24. This is for married couples in the faith. All right, and this is what you're supposed to do. Okay, if you want to teach with your wife, this is what you're supposed to do. So uh, Acts chapter 18, verse 24. And a certain Jew named Apollos, born at Alexandria, an eloquent man and mighty in the scriptures. Yeah, he had the whole package. Because not, not, you know, um, not everybody that, that's in this thing is, is eloquent. Not everybody is uh, mighty in the scriptures. So he had the whole package. You know, he could speak and he knew the scriptures. He knew the breakdowns. He can quote precepts and talk and teach correctly. So he had the whole package. He was the real deal. And guess what? Um, Priscilla and Aquila, they, they caught on to that. Like, yo, this, this man has potential. You know, I can see this man uh, doing really well and, and leading the congregation. So you know what? Let's invest into this man. So they recognized that and then they took him uh, under their wing, right? So it says, and mighty in the scriptures came to Ephesus. This man was instructed in the way of the Lord and being fervent in the spirit. He spake and taught diligently the things of the Lord, knowing only the baptism of John. And he began to speak boldly in the synagogue. But when Aquila and Priscilla had heard, they took him unto them. That's right. So they, they took him under their wing. So uh, he, he, he lived with them. Uh, they, they brought them. They brought him uh, under under their roof, so they could uh, teach him. Okay, so they can teach him. Um, so so that that shows, man, that um, um, when compared to Achilla, I'm talking about Apollos. So when compared to Achilla and Priscilla, um, he 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 was, um, you know, when it came to the knowledge, um, he he was he was inferior to them. I would say that. 
but uh, having excellent gifts for, for public service and, and speaking and doing those things, um, uh, they, they continue to, to uh, in, encourage his ministry, right? So they're like, okay, you know, this guy, you know, he may be inferior, you know, he has excellent gifts, so, you know, let's encourage this guy and let's support the ministry, okay? And that's why they were diligent and, and they, they, were, they were very uh, constant when it, when it came to, to attending uh, the, the ministry and when watching him speak and, and, and etc. Right, so uh, that's what you see here. I'm just picturing it in my mind, okay? All right, anyway, so it says here, verse 26, And he began to speak boldly in the synagogue, from when Aquila and Priscilla had heard, they took him unto them and expounded unto him the, per the way of the Most High more perfectly. That's right. Yeah, you know, finding him very defective in his knowledge of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, in certain areas. Um, they're like, you know what? This guy has potential. So they're like, okay, you know what? Let, let, let's teach this guy. Let's let's work on him. Let's polish him up. So let him lodge with us in the same house. Now, I'll say this. I, I don't suggest you do that in, in this day and age. Um, you know, times were different back then. First of all, you were able to put your wife in order. You're not able to do that now. How you want to do it. You, you'll get caught up with the law. So I suggest you don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Right? Because uh, the, the, that'll make a way for adultery to enter in. And it's going to bring forth madness and scandals. You, you don't want to do that. So I don't suggest you do that. I don't suggest you do this. But now if you're in that position and, and you're mature enough. And you're able to uh, uh, do that in the spirit. Like how Akila and Priscilla are doing it then you can do that. There's nothing wrong with doing that. You can do that because the scripture allows that. It's talking about it. You can do that. But like I said, things have to be private. Things can't be public. You can't have your woman teaching him without you there. It has to be done privately, okay? Because they were more knowledgeable in things. And and that's another thing, you, you, you women that are in the faith, so-called in the faith, you know, you, you watch all these different brothers and then you're, you're, you're posting all these precepts and telling them what to bring out. You shouldn't be doing that either. And the elders and apostles, they rebuked that, though they made a lot of videos over the years going into that. Right. Okay. So uh, I'll say this when reading this, um, you know, they did not take, uh, they did not, um, you know, after they observed Apollos, um, of, of his deficiency when it, when it came to uh, the knowledge of the scriptures or certain certain areas of the scriptures of, of, the, of the faith, you know, going into Yahweh Shai and etc. Um, you know, they didn't, they didn't despise him. You know, they, they didn't call him out in front of the congregation and say, you know, this is what you should be working on and, and rebuking him openly and saying, oh, this guy, he's not a good speaker. Or they didn't call him a young raw preacher. They didn't say he wasn't fit to to stand on the podium, right? So so what did they do? Um, you know them having the the, the knowledge of the gospel. Um, what did they What did they do? They took him under his wing and they 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 tutored him and they showed him this is what you can do to make the ministry better. So you know I'm just talking now. You know this is just filler, but I'm just saying you can do that. You can do that, but it has like I said, it has to be in a controlled setting. Right, you have to be there, and you have to be doing all the talking, while your wife is present, okay? And she's aiding, she's helping. All right. So, anyways, um, I hope this was edifying. You know, this is the way to do things. If if you're a married couple and and you want to teach and you want to aid the ministry, follow this example. Follow this example. Now, do I suggest you you do you do that in the year 2024? No, I, I don't. I, I don't suggest you do that. But if you're in that position and you're mature enough in the spirit, then you can try it out. All right. So anyways, with that, just want to give all praises, glory and honor. Do one, two. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah, And double honors to the apostles and elders of a great millstone of GMS. To you, I say Shalom. And Shalom to the hope of Allah. Kwam, Yashallah, and Ababa,
Shalom.